Greetings. This pen is the Opus 88 Coloro Demonstrator. This is a Taiwanese made uh, a pen that's acrylic and um, it uh, has some uh, black trim, but it's pretty much mostly a clear demonstrator pen. Um, it is uh, a kind of an average weight pen. It weighs 29 grams. It's a little bit on the large side. Here it is compared to a uh, Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. Um, one nice thing about this pen is just the way the acrylic is made. It's sort of got a frosted acrylic for a large chunk of the body here, here, uh, on the ink chamber, etc. And then it um, has uh, this very sort of nice, extremely clear chunks of acrylic on either end, which really make it look really make it look quite um, quite nice and you can obviously see the ink sloshing around in there. Um, this pen is an eyedropper filled pen. You see a rod in there and at first glance you might think that that is a uh, vacuum filling mechanism or a piston filler but it is not. It is a shut off valve. So you can operate the valve by turning this uh, knob here and there is a rod inside that can move back and forth and that basically connects disconnects the ink supply in the in the section to the rest of the body so it solves a major problem that a lot of um, eyedropper filled pens have so if you see this pen here is only filled up a small percentage of the way on a normal eyedropper pen what would happen is because there's so much air relative to the amount of ink when you hold it the warmth from your hand will make the air expand and cause the pen to burp this shut off valve allows you to control the flow of the ink including have it shut off completely so you're only operating with the ink that's actually in the section so um, that's actually a really really nice feature and it works really well um, the pen does not post, um, which is sort of a shame because it almost, if it was just a tiny bit bigger, it probably could, but then you might actually scratch that acrylic, etc. So it does not post. Um, it does have a really, really nice clip, which is a matte finished uh, metal, and it says Opus 88 along the end of the cap in black. Um, one thing, the threads here on this end of this mechanism when I first got the pen were very uh, stiff as well as this rod moving back and forth was also quite stiff it did need to be it did need to be lubricated with um, with uh, silicone grease uh, so it would have been nice if they either lubricated it or even better uh, provide uh, some silicone grease uh, uh, as part of the uh, uh, of the pen uh, package this uh, nib is a Jovo number six uh, size nib. It has the normal sort of Jovo style scroll work. It ha does have Opus 88 etched on the, the nib and a very, very tiny little letter B for broad. It's a standard Jovo nib, so it's easily switched out and replaced if uh, you ever wanna switch nibs, which is uh, also a really, really, uh, really nice, uh, nice feature. Um, we could talk a minute about how this pen is packaged, which is actually uh, comes in a comes in a very nice package. So it comes in this nice box with an outer sleeve, this sort of this brown color outer sleeve, uh, this nice sort of faux leather box with a magnetic latch in the front, and then when you open it up, uh, you have a bed for the pen, um, a little instruction warranty booklet, and an ink dropper. Be, uh, because this is an eyedropper only filled pen it's nice that they include that this is a very very nice one uh, it's actually made of uh, made out of glass so that's uh, that's the package that this pen comes in so I guess one of the only things left to see on this pen is how it writes so we're about to find that out right now Okay, what we have here is an Opus 88 Coloro Demonstrator. Uh, 
Um, this pen writes really, really well. It's the Jovo nib, as you uh, would expect. It writes nice and wet and has a very, very nice broad line, which really looks great. Um, um, it's a stiff nib, though, so there is not going to be flex or line variation here at all. Um, but if you want to write finer, reverse writing is actually quite nice. It's a bit scratchy, but you go from a broad to a extra fine quite easily. Uh, and it's a little scratchy, but you can definitely get a couple of words out um, um, uh, in reverse, which actually writes pretty nice. And it, it uh, lays down a, a pretty nice wet line and a very smooth line um, for a uh, for a broad uh, for a broad pen. The section is actually quite comfortable to hold. It does have a little bit of a the lip here at the end of the section, which is nice. And the threads here are not bothersome at all. Oh, speaking of threads, one thing that you might not like about this pen is I don't know you can probably see it right there. It takes one, two three, four full turns to open it. So if you need to be able to open up your pen and write in a hurry, not, uh, not a good choice because four turns is about the maximum that you would even be acceptable. Anything more than that is just ridiculous. So four, four, is, four is quite a few turns um, uh, to, open, uh, to open the pen up. But um, like I said, it's made really, really nicely. These ends these clear acrylic ends, I just really, really like both at the end of the pen and on the and on the cap. I would have even almost liked them to be matching in terms of size. Make the one on the end of the cap just as long as the one on the end of the brow, because this to me is the is the highlight of the pen, really. That and the the demonstrator aspect of it, because you can obviously see your ink sloshing around, which really looks just looks great. Um, in terms of ink, this is diamine. Terra Cotta, which is a really nice dark brown color. Not a lot of shading here, just a little bit, but it's 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 dark, it's saturated, it's contrasty, it looks really, really, really good. Um, I like this um, I like this color uh, quite a bit. It's a brown with character. It is I think a good name because I think terracotta is very descriptive. It does remind me of that sort of pottery clay color, um, and uh, it is it is I think well well named. So you're getting uh, you're getting what they're advertising here. But I really like it. It um, it has a pretty good pretty good dry time. It is it is pretty well behaved, and. Um, um, uh, looks nice, just looks really good on paper and not too flashy or anything like that. So you can pretty much get away with this in a business context uh, without too much trouble. It, it's part of the Dime Mine 150th anniversary collection. Um, and like all Dime Mine inks, the color on the label is doesn't really bear any relationship to the color of the ink. I think really doesn't look anything like that. Um, but it's part of the 150th anniversary collection. So it comes in these 40 mil wedge shaped bottles. So if you have the entire collection, you can make an entire circle for display purposes. Uh, so this is not sort of a normal, I guess, uh, stock dime line. It's a little more money, comes in a smaller bottle, special bottle, etc. So I think that will just about do it for this pen and this ink for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, please click the subscribe button, which you can probably find right around here somewhere. And um, uh, if you don't like it, please let me know why, and I will endeavor to improve. So thank you very, very much. And until next time, bye-bye.